So we just uh, recently watched the presidential State of the Union. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our thoughts about it. Make sure you watch that video. If you want to see that full version of that video, make sure you join our Patreon. Sure. But today we are reacting to what is the Republican response to Biden's State of the Union. And it looks like their representative, I think her name is Katie Britt, is the one they got to do it. So sure. that's what we're doing today. I thought he was going to say other stuff. No, I'm not cutting back in, so. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to cut them whenever you start. Okay. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm TK, a.k.a. Southside Boogie. And I'm Darius, a.k.a. The Rocco Drama. And this is Mind the Gap. border policies are a disgrace I can't take this, this crisis is despicable the, the and the truth is, is it is these days of our lives ass. bro that's that's exactly that's hey that's a I good way to like no i can't take it i wait on victor to come through the back and For say real? Yeah, come on what a bold and beautiful bro what I'll deacon be, at come on man come on man this ain't this ain't this ain't this i mean like she 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 had her policy. It's cool. She had a policy. She said the border is bad. She said why the border was, border was bad. And I'm 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 glad that you do that. Hey, give me something. Yeah. But then what do you say to what he said tonight when he said write up the bill that I was gonna sign anyway yeah. that y'all made that y'all created. Write up another one that you like and I signed out. Mm -hmm. So what do you got to say with that? That's don't, cool. Don't take it back this time. So right there, whatever move you have with that, you automatically yeah. lose it for me because you. He already said I was gonna pass the last one y'all had. Y'all took it back because y'all, because y'all, because y'all boy wanted it as a talking point for the next election. You wanted wanted a political move. Yeah, you want you 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 more you more worried about politics than you are in America. You more about winning than an ass. You they're more about winning. Both sides a lot of yeah. times, but in this particular situation, that side is more about winning than actually helping the yeah, American the, the people. The problem you say they have. So this this story that she said, which is very unfortunate for this lady, that should motivate you to sign that bill mm -hmm. and not not take it back after they already said, yeah, we agree to that bill. So, yeah. That should motivate you. So that says more about you than it does about Biden, Biden and his yeah. policy. Yeah. I don't even like standing for this nigga. But y'all, y'all, y'all make y'all make it easy to like the, like that. Y'all make it real easy to to look at Biden. It's like you know what, he's way better than yeah, the other guy. Come on, man. We don't even like doing this. We like making fun of him. Yes, hey, we want to, bro. Y'all entirely preventable from fentanyl poisonings to horrific murders. There are empty chairs tonight at kitchen tables just like this one, because of President Biden's senseless border policies. No, I'm not. Uh... Just think about Lake and Riley. In my neighboring state of Georgia, this beautiful 22-year-old nursing student went out on a jog one morning, but she never got the opportunity to return home. She was brutally murdered by one of the millions of illegal border crossers President Biden chose to release into our homeland. Y'all, as a mom, I can't quit thinking about this. I mean, this could have been my daughter. This could have been yours. And tonight, President Biden finally said her name. But he refused to take responsibility for his own actions. My boy Mr. said, "Mr. President, enough is enough." It, man. Innocent American. He said, "Give me a bill, and we'll and I pass it." He was gonna pass the last one. Like this, the anecdotal, and I don't like this narrative that like you know all this fitting all come across the border. Most of that fitting all come from ports. You know what I'm saying? Most of that fitting all come from China and them ports, bro. Check and check the check the the data crime uh, statistic. You know who you know who be trafficking the most and had the most drug paraphernalia on him. I think it was the U.S. I think it was us. Was it us? You know, I'm saying what demographic of people? No, no, white people. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. That's new information. Yeah, that's new information. 
So I don't, I don't know. That's cute. I'm just saying, like, man, it, these stories are horrific, bro. I get it. I understand. Mm-hmm. The 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 Democrat Party do it too when they was like, well, this eight year old was great, and this is you know, uh, evidence that that y'all need to do better with policies when it comes down to Abortion, reprodu- yeah, reproduction. Yeah, reproduction. Reproduction, right? Yeah. But the actual thing is, because it's the majority. Like, what is the majority dealing with? A lot of people deal with miscarriage. A lot mm-hmm. of people deal with uh, they not being able to. Uh, uh, when they get to the point of having a child, uh, they find out that the child is not, you yeah. know, habitable with life, so they mm-hmm. have to have an abortion. But those states keep them from. That's more of a, a prevalent thing than this anecdotal thing. Mm-hmm. Just like in this situation, no, that's that's sad and that's, that's disheartening. Terrible. That's a terrible thing that happened. Mm-hmm. But if we're gonna do something about the border, we definitely gotta do something about the ports. Yeah. And then we also gotta be more educated on what this how fentanyl is used and put into uh, mm-hmm. communities and stuff like that. Like yeah. I get it, this is important. But the main thing again, not to just sound not to be the dead horse, what do you want him to sign? Yeah. What is it? What is it? What'd it be good for him to What's sign? What's your strategy? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing though. Okay, you doing all this fear mongering. What's your strategy? Mm-hmm. Because the bill y'all proposed, he was going to send officers down there. He was going to send money down there. Mm-hmm. He was, was going to speed up the process of getting them in and out. Bam. What What do you want? What What is your solution? Americans are dying, and you only have yourself to blame. Fulfill your oath of office. Reverse your policies. End this crisis and stop the suffering. Sadly, she a villain. We know Sound that like one. She she just switched off. don't stop there. Mm, I, about, I was looking up fitting all this. Reckless spending dug our economy into a hole and sent the cost of living through the roof. No. Nah. We have the worst inflation in 40 years and nah. the highest credit card debt in our nation's history. Cool. Let that cool. sink in. That's why you said eight dollar credit. Hard working families are struggling to make ends meet today. And with soaring mortgage rates and sky high child care cost, they're he addressed also all that in to there. How to plan for tomorrow? He had, he had credit addressed- cards thirty five, thirty two dollars to eight dollars. The mortgage rate give you four hundred dollars, and if you refinance, we're gonna give you a thousand dollars. We say and rent lock and rent lock rent lock. We're gonna uh, quit the price gouging on rent. Uh, what was the other thing she just said? Uh, uh, uh. Highest inflation. Oh, in also 40 the years. child care. Yeah. He already mentioned that in child care and he had it in the infrastructure plan. Yeah. So he cut child poverty in half. <laughs> you know it. We got you? our inflation is the lowest in the world. It's at three percent. In the world. So that so yeah, so that's a good point. So it yeah, says three percent right now. So I like that you brought it up because in our history, yeah, it's up. And we and then if and you, it ain't even up by that much. And I'm and not, it, I doubt is I doubt is actually the highest in forty years at three percent. And it was crazy doing like and this thing, man. I'm not gonna blame Trump for this. It's just what it is, bro. When the pandemic happened, bro, people needed money, so we printed a lot of mm-hmm. money, bro. We printed like well, I think they said like 35 percent of mm-hmm. all money ever made yeah. ever ever printed in America during that time. Yeah, it that makes it's crazy. That makes inflation, bro. That that mm-hmm. aid that they ask, and I'm not blaming Trump because people needed that money. Uh, rent needed to be suspended. Uh, companies I'll blame him for the... holding that money up because he wanted to put his name on the check. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Other than that, I'm not blaming him. But that that's the result of that. Mm-hmm. He inherited, like, it, brother. If Biden went first, Trump he would inherit. Like that's it that would have been the same. It would have been it the same, bro. Well, that's, it, like, that's just how it happens, yeah. bro. So it's not. It's not. And then he still found a way to get it down. Yeah. Stocks are up, uh, like he said. Consumer, uh, consumer, consumer, consumer confidence, confidence is, is up. up. Like that's the American people consume. Now, granted, the American people are the the, the world's largest consumer, so consumer uh, confidence is always going to be up. But yeah. in the economy, in, in the economy that you're saying that we are in, consumer confidence shouldn't be soaring or mm-hmm. going up that high. So I get what she's saying, but all that stuff he addressed and had solutions for. Yeah, there was solutions. And for again. That. What do you think her solution is gonna be? Also cutting uh uh student debt. That's yeah. also come on. I mean, and he cut the deficit, the United uh, National Deficit by a trillion dollars. Trillion dollars. And if he continues, he said he's gonna cut three trillion more. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't. Understand. And two of that comes from like what we say something about big farmer, mm-hmm. big, big farmer that they booed on. He's like, yeah, man, I'm gonna cut two trillion. And more. he's trying to give it uh, go after big farmer, big tech, 
all these big corporations. He to wants pay to your them, fair share in tax. He wants them paying more. Which again, I don't understand what people are against that that are in middle class or lower who say that these companies always, you know, have their foot on the little guy. Yeah. We are the little guys. But y'all you so you not for him putting the his foot up the, the big corporations there. Y'all not for that? No. I don't know, man. But he addressed everything that she if you watch. Yeah. The American people are scraping by. Well, President Biden proudly proclaims that Bidenomics is working. My stock's low. Goodness, y'all. Bless his heart. We know better. We, I don't, don't, I'll put, never don't say we. Stopping at a gas station in Shelton County one evening, the gentleman working the counter told me that How much after was the gas? retiring, he had to pick up a job in his 70s so that he didn't have to choose between going hungry or going without his medication. Pa pause no, it. No, <laughs> no, no, you keep walking into it. Why do you think the medications are so high? And and what did he say in his uh, address about what, no, medication? I'm sorry. What did he do as far as insulin? Oh, as far as insulin, yeah. he cut that down for a max of out-of-pocket $35 a month. He did that. He and did then want to and want to cut it down lower. Yeah. So what? What? And is now the he's saying that if I get back in there, I can uh, reduce the out of pocket cost of dr of five hundred five hundred five hundred listed drugs, drugs from from uh, heart disease to arthritis. Something that affects everybody. I can I, everybody I'm playing on doing something about all of that. So the person that you was talking about retiring that that that, that if he had yeah. diabetes, not saying he do that was aimed towards him. Mm -hmm. Also, in the infrastructure plan again, that's something that that, that helps with older people. Yeah. Also, what did he say about you know what I'm saying people people of your party? Yeah. They have been called out on multiple uh, uh sites, multiple speeches saying that hey, we're gonna raise retirement. Yeah. And what did he say to, uh, uh, during that speech? He said, no. No, I won't let you do it. Yeah. I'm going to stop him. I think yeah. he said what he I just, I, I, But you know who was voting against those policies that would reduce those medications? Republicans. Come on, man. You know who didn't stand up when he said that? Republicans. Okay, then. Come on, man. What is, she, what, what is, what is this? She didn't watch it? Everything right. She was rehearsing. I did everything she was why, why yeah. do. I worked hard. I saved. I was responsible. He's not alone. You don't know that, man. I hear similar concerns from fellow parents. Or this really whether I am happens. walking with my friends or whether I'm at my kids' games. But let's be honest. It's been a minute since Joe Biden pumped gas, uh, ran a carpool, or even pushed a grocery cart. Meanwhile, the rest of us see our dollar. Don't say and us. We know don't say us, bro. Don't say far. us, bro. We see it every day. Them eggs ain't $30. And despite what he tells you, our communities are not safer. Ours? For years. Where you live? The left has coddled criminals and defunded the police, all while letting repeat offenders Pause walk one time. free. Did he not again address that by saying, hey, we're going to start funding police so we can cut down on this crime yeah. that I already been cutting down, down on, on since I've been in office. Yeah. He did. He did. Please watch the State of the Union for yourself. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. The result is tragic, but foreseeable. Do, do we... From our small towns to America's most iconic city streets, finish. life is getting more and more dangerous. And unfortunately, President Biden's weakness isn't just hurting families here at home. He is making us a punchline on the world stage. Look, where I'm from, your word is your bond. But for three years, the president has demonstrated that America's word doesn't mean what it used to. You know who demonstrated that? When Trump backed out of the, the deal with Iran? Ooh. Even Ooh. though they was doing their part, he backed out of shit, and it led to what's happening now in Israel. I don't want to hear. I don't, I'm, I'm sick of it, dog. <laughs> let, her, let her rock. Let her rock. From abandoning our allies in his disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan 
You let's, know let's, who pushed let's, let's the button that. on let's that? Do that? And you yes. know who pushed the he, bro, he just went with the same. He went with the plan that was already made for Trump. Trump, if rather Trump or Biden was in there, now Biden could have, you know, veto. He was like, yeah. "No, nah, we're not gonna do this. We but gonna he, stay." He actually, he act, it would have been messier if he didn't pull him out because Trump's plan already put the timetable on when yeah. they started going. They already started taking people out. Mm -hmm. If he, if he would have done that, it would have been even worse. Mm -hmm. If he would have stopped it at that point. I'm not mad at that at all on either side with that because it was going to be messy regardless. Yeah. But that plan was actually, already set no, in Actually, no, because if Trump didn't renege on his promises yeah, and they I mean, gave yeah, him time yeah, to actually set up a real government, yeah. except a prop government. Yeah, you're right. I take that back. It wasn't going to be messy if he did that. Like, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear. Come on, man. Are you right? Desperately pushing another dangerous deal with Iran. President Biden has failed. We've become a nation in retreat. And the enemies of freedom, they see an opportunity. Putin's brutal aggression in Europe has put our allies on the brink. Iran's terrorist proxies have slaughtered Israeli Jews and American citizens. Violent crime rates dropped sharply last year, including a 12% decline in homicide nationally from 2022 to 2023. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so not just to take his word. Detroit and Chicago both invested more than $100 million for public safety. You see what they're doing in New York. Chicago saw a 13% drop in homicide and Detroit saw a I uh, saw an 18 and that's Chicago. Eight, that's they that's they talking point right now. And Detroit saw an 18% drop in 2023. I ain't got no more, Mr. Candy. <laughs> I ain't got no more. I can't just so, do no. I can't do. Do we really gotta finish this, man? Yeah, we gotta finish. We gotta give them they dues, man. They dues. We gotta give them they dues. What man. dues? We gotta give them they dues, man. I'm not going. I really hope as a collective they didn't come together and was like, "These are talking points we want you to hit." I mean, that was. I mean, like I said, man. From from what we just seen, bro, it's just bad. It's just bad from jump. From overacting, the kitchen, yeah. the setting, the the you from Alabama. They just had the IVF situation. Uh, the your talking points, the fear marketing that you're doing that was addressed in the State of the Union. If people watch now, mm -hmm. if you bet on people not to watch, then by all means, this yeah, is this thing. is this is better than this is great. This yeah. is great for a rural American who's uh uneducated and did not watch the 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 State this of the Union. This on ABC though, baby. Yeah, this on ABC. They show blackish on this on this network, man. Yeah, man. So I don't, I don't like I said. I don't I don't know what she what the accomplishment, but. Using her was good because she's a female and like, and she's a, I think she's the youngest. Again, but what they gave her to work with was bad. Yeah, she made it worse. Yeah, I mean, this just that's just overacting. <gasps> Jackie Long don't overact like that. <laughs> Shout out to Jackie Long. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he D list. <laughs> You always be a, wait, you'll like, always be an A in my book, Jackie. <laughs> bro, I keep waiting for Ridge to walk out the back. Like what? It, like I can't take this soap opera, bro. man. They got the soap opera set and everything, man. Yeah, look, they're like a that the background look real. They've targeted commercial shipping, and they've attacked our troops nearly two hundred times since October, killing three U.S. soldiers and two Navy SEALs. That's Meanwhile, not a bad average. The Chinese Communist Party mm -hmm. is undercutting America's workers. China is buying up our farmland, spying on our military installations, and spreading propaganda through the likes of TikTok. No big going on. Didn't I just read that he's willing to pa CCP pass a bill to say he's going to ban TikTok? Yeah, father again. That if and then he bringing more jobs into the U.S. Yeah, that's he also addressed that in the State of Union, bro. We're gonna stop. I, I think other than my predecessor, he brought that up. He's like, I'm bringing the jobs back. You know what I'm saying? I think that we can end the video because I. How, how much more is left? It's like six minutes. 
Give her three more. Because she, we we keep running back in the same thing. Where it's, he addressed that. He addressed that. He addressed that. Mm. Three more minutes. And man. historically, what you're saying is not accurate. Three more minutes. Now, if it get real bad in the next minute or so, then yeah, we'll it just be like, you know what? It conquers the minds of our next generation. It conquers America. And what does President Biden do? Well, he bans TikTok for government employees, but creates an account for his own campaign. Y'all, you can't make this stuff up. Look. We all recall when presidents faced national security threats with strength and resolve. That seems like ancient history. Cut it. Right now. Cut it right there. Our because you, you sound silly as hell when your boy is on 91 counts of felony charges because he didn't give up them documents. National threats? Then they say that my man was out there talking, talking to people about, yo, man, look what I did. These, these, these are the, the they might have sold some stuff. Come on, man. National threats. You talking about how your uh, son-in-law is getting two hundred billion dollars from Saudi Arabia? Come on. National threats. Come on. How about your daughter's getting a million dollars from also from Saudi Arabia? Nash, you talking about how Trump owes foreigners a lot of money? You talking about national threats? That's that's. Look, man, look, I'm stop I don't even care what he thinks. We stopping the video. <laughs> no, I was done. Once what, you said the national <laughs> thing, I was done. We stopping the video. I mean, I don't know what y'all think about it, but this is painful to watch. I've seen enough to meet this bunch of no, fear mongering and just not. I was going to give her a chance because I, I don't like that we don't get. I want the other side to feel yeah. like we give them a, 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 a side. So y'all you know can say what y'all want. Y'all can say. You, you know kiss my ass, we, to be honest. Y'all see that. Out of context, or you can say we ain't watched the whole thing. I've seen enough. Yeah, this is bad. I've seen enough, and y'all know that's this. This is bad. At the this, very you, least, you, you know she don't act like that. Yeah, at the very least, you know she putting on. At the very you least, you know she putting on, bro. When I watch Biden speak, y'all like, yeah, he old. Yeah, he didn't try to act like nothing else but him. He mm -hmm. old. When I see Trump speak, I like that's Trump. That's that's him. He not acting. He talk like this in in the bathroom to himself. You know what I'm saying? I know that's what he do. I'm usually not on some sexy shit. All right, but at this point. She don't belong in the Congress. She need to be on Bold and Beautiful. Yeah, to me, that's yeah, what her that's that, is. that's what yeah. Because this is they ain't even sexist. That's 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 your your career is an actor. In that bad field, acting, yeah. In that yeah, field, yeah. in yeah. that field, you need to be this in a little Tubi movie. In the be yeah yeah. Because this is bad. Like she doing this at the wrong time. Like yeah. Because mm, mm. she going off that prompter and she trying to and mm, mm, y'all y'all y'all. Who does that? Yeah, come on, man. This is bad look. This, they should have kept man. this in the draft. I'm over, man. I'm uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm TK, aka Southside Boogie, and I'm Darius, aka the Rocco Drama, and, and this, this is, is mine to get. Out.